Hi there, Pisces. It's Milady. Happy 2024. How are you? Welcome back. So happy to have you back. Pisces, we have your 2024 predictions right in front of us. Let's go ahead and jump into this reading for you. All right. This is a must, must hear, okay, because there is a lot of advice that is being uh, given here. Um, this uh, Each month is going to give you an, av an advice and it's going to break some things down for you, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this reading for you. So um, Pisces, for your January 2024, you must choose a new direction, okay? It's speaking of... Um, expansions okay it's speaking on you know uh compromise and working things out and coming to us uh you know coming to a solution um it's interesting i just saw i mean i'm just seeing on this uh illustration here where you know they may not be happy with things but here they're holding on to a finger <laughs> like a pinky i don't know if any any one of you have this little thing going on like hey comment all right leave me a comment are you and your significant other going through that um you know so again it's having to compromise and coming to to one like agreeing to something and yes it's okay to agree and just uh, agree to disagree but here it's telling you to do that okay because there, these are risks that you're taking and i get it all right um you know this is basically just saying you know what goes around comes back around and is what i just heard too um you know um and then um let's see here oh wait a minute oh yes i am missing something let's go ahead and go with that bear with me one moment i got i got all my my hearts that i didn't pull out oh, that's what i was looking for all right so here we go we get to do a live reading on the i mean a live poll for each uh month for the hearts because i am not gonna stop this reading i am going to keep going okay uh not to you know this is on the spot okay and this is for october this is for november and this is for december all right so um all right so uh pisces is speaking of your soulmate it is uh, so your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so meaning if that soulmate i mean the Basically, the soulmate is letting you know that this person is here for you, okay? This person is your soulmate, okay? And but and if you do not, if you do not, you you're not with your significant other, your soulmate, then manifest it so that they can physically be there, okay? Um, I like um, let's see here, and then um, Alexa, define expansion. Expansion refers to the act of increasing in size, volume, or scope. It can involve physical expansion, such as the growth of a city or a business, or it can be more abstract, like the expansion of knowledge. Expansion is a process of making something bigger or broader. I like that. Okay, and it does tie in here because this is like basically the growth, you know, of something, meaning you're, you know, you're realizing that this is your soulmate, okay? And, or... If you haven't, if you're not with them, then you can gradually get there is what it's saying. Uh, or you will gradually get there to that person where you may see, uh, you may not be seeing them as your soulmate, but um, they are. So don't take anything personally, um, Pisces. It's telling you to love and respect yourself, okay? So you are never responsible for the actions of others, but you are responsible for you, Pisces. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a it is a gift that um it is a gift if they walk away from you you may hurt for a while but your heart will eventually heal okay i i, I get what where that's coming from and i get this right here too not being happy you know hold it's basically like i said holding on to that finger you know that pinky finger where it's saying okay we need to come we need to compromise we need to come to an agreement Okay, because that's what they are there, your soulmate. Um, what am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing the other one here. This one, this is the one that goes there. So it's telling you to choose a direction. 
All right, so let's find out what's going on for you for February. And here we go. So February, February, this is a, this is a sign, Pisces. All right, you have a sign here. All right, they're speaking of new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. <coughs> okay. It's speaking of recovery. Um, I, I mean, this right here is pointing out to some kind of prayer, the universe opening doors for you. You know, um, there, this is someone else's prayer for you. Okay. And that's where there's recovery. Okay. So not everything is lost. Okay. There's a completion of something here. It's like saying there was a piece of a puzzle that was missing and that you're going to be able to complete it now. Okay. You'll have all the strength that you need to move forward. All right. It's telling you, it is telling you that, um, you know, your faith is personal to you, Pisces. So your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's truth, but yours. And I, I get that. All right. That's that sign that you're going to see in February for, March, it's it's saying unlikely. Okay, so what does that mean? It's saying that it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone, Pisces. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to get to get to your uh, to yourself. Okay, like working on yourself and health, and you know making the right decisions. I just heard. All right, uh, self love, self care. Okay, you have the trickery, uh, trick trickery <laughs> card card here because I want to. Um, this is pointing out to more like, you know, what is real, what is not. It's like saying, you know, it's like saying, um, are you uh, imagining these things or uh, I want to say like, you know, in your head, are you assuming these things in your head because it's telling you to assume nothing, and I'm gonna get right to that right now. All right. You like to be in control. I get it. Pisces, we all do. And then at the same time, you know, sometimes we have to kind of let go. Especially things when it comes to us, uh, like, you know, when you're assuming things, okay? Um, so, um, the fool here is basically just taking a leap of faith, going blindly in a situation, um, you know, uh, or falling into a you know, a, something that isn't real or, you know, falling into that, uh, you know, assumption mode. Okay. So in any type of relationship, Pisces, we can make the assumption that others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they are going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know, all right. And this is what you're. This is how you're coming out to certain people, all right. And by coming out that way, you know, it, it's not a. It's not a good thing, all right. It's not a good thing because you're only. I mean, it's proving as you know, you're you're a controlling person. Okay, yeah, you know. But at the same time, you just have to, you know, get. Um, right now is the time to give to give to yourself, like you know, self love, self worth. Uh, taking care of yourself. Uh, this is what it's pointing out to. Okay. Now for, um, this is going to be for April. So for the month of April, it's telling you to reconsider. It's, tell, uh, it's telling you that there's uh, perseverance. Okay. Uh, isolation. Okay. Look at this. Uh, I want you to see this because, you know, this, I mean, the fact that it says isolation, but it's spelled as I as uh, ICE is pointing out you closing yourself to others. This is you suffering in silence. Okay. Um, where, you know, I get it. You know, there's a lot of emotions all over the place. Pisces, um, you're feeling some type of way. One day you're good. One day you're bad. One day you're feeling, um, um, sad, depressed. And then another day, you know, you're, you're, you know, want to take on the world. And I get it. I get it. Okay. Reflection here, uh, Pisces, 
give each other some space at the at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best okay that's what it's uh, why it's telling you to reconsider so refuse to eat emotional poison okay so pisces taking things personally makes you pray for predators they can hook your uh, attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want refuse to eat poison that's why it's telling you to take time for yourself all right preserve uh perseverance all right get get out of your head get out of this space all right that's what it's telling you to do that's what's telling you to do all right now for uh that that was april this is may so for may it's still telling you it's not the right time all right not the right time there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want if you want it to be all right and notice it says if you want it to be all right because you feel you know there's some kind of conditioning here conditioning here i mean this is the soulmate that this soulmate that you want all right i, I just heard like just slipping out your hands isn't that crazy you're hard at work you're doing what you have to do you're grounded you're taking care of business and work and you know and taking care of a little one as well too all right, so seek to know the truth, Pisces. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And again, that's speaking of freedom, okay? Getting out of that, you know, funk. I didn't say the other one, I said funk, okay? Meaning, you know, this conditioning yourself and um, feeling angry, you know, limiting yourself to certain things is not going to work. Okay. Your intuition is on point when I see this here. Okay. Bring that soulmate towards you, but give it some time. Okay. Because right now is not the time. All right. Now for June, I mean, this is for, what is this? This is a, uh, this is January, February, March, April, May, June. All right. It's telling you to listen to your intuition again, okay? It's speaking of close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy, uh, feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, Pisces, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, okay? Have faith. Have faith. The divine is working here in your favor. There's a divine, a, a, a divine intervention here. There's going to be, you know, I, I just like the light there's going to be you're going to be shown the light you're going to be uh you know guided all right and you're gonna you have the world in your hands if you want them if you want it okay it's yours but have faith all right um define um alexa define integration alexa define integration Integration is the process of combining or merging things into a unified whole. It can also refer to the act of becoming part of a community or society. Integration aims to create a cohesive and inclusive environment. I like that for you, Pisces. These are the things that are, you know, within your surroundings, I just heard, okay? And you have to have faith, okay? Um, stop being stubborn. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Stop being stubborn, okay? Yes, you deserve to feel joyful. Yes, you can allow joy into your life. And this is regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, all right? And the reason why this is coming up here and then you have this one here, it's like saying, it's like saying you're not satisfied with what life is giving you right now. It's like, you know, Either you're feeling it's not enough or you're feeling or you're feeling down because you feel like you can't do enough. But I see this here. So it's telling you to relinquish self-importance. OK, now hear me out with what this is coming up with. OK, so it's saying personal personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of self selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me all right and i i mean listen 
And this is going back to this right here where, you know, not being happy, not being satisfied with the, you know, with what life is dealing you, giving you at the moment. But it's telling you to have faith. Okay. It's telling you that through others and helping others, you will get there. There's a yin yang here, you know, opposite attracts. I do for you. You do for me. This is what I'm feeling. Follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition. That was for uh, June. Let's find out what's going on for you for July for 2024 Pisces. So 2024 Pisces is telling you to get some, get more information, do some more research, look things up. Okay. It's telling you, whoa, romance. Okay. Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay. This can be you and your significant other. All right. So this also points out to creativity and this is something, you know, of, of happiness and opportunities, a growth of something, a, bo uh, a bond, okay? Um, this is in the home front, at, at home, okay? Being creative, creativity here. Well, I mean, what's going to work for you and others, you know, and be more acceptant, all right, acceptance here. Um, you, here goes. I, I like to see this here because I, I see this as spirit, or I see this as you know an ancestor, or you know uh, your guardian angel, uh, with whoever's you know watching over you, whatever you believe in. I mean, it's telling you to be acceptance. It's like saying, okay, from the from the look on her face, it's like saying, okay, you know, I don't like cherry pie. I prefer apple pie. I prefer lemon pie. Okay, but I mean, again, being acceptance of life, being, uh, feeling gratitude of the thing, you know, the things that you do have. Okay, so, okay, so Pisces, learn to ask questions. Okay, it is an, it, it is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answers to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. Okay, this makes perfect sense now, okay? And here it's saying ask questions and again, get more information. You see how this is all tying in, all right? Cupid's arrow strikes, okay? If you're allowing it, if you're being acceptance of it, okay? So ask your questions so that, you know, you'd understand things, okay? Be creative about your questions too. You know, um, I, I also heard be... You know, be easy on your words and your approach, okay? Because this is something that will be hitting home for you. I, I just heard that. Okay, so that was for July. For August for you here, Pisces, and this is for 2024, uh, you're, going, uh, you're going in the right direction. Okay, so acceptance, here we go, is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change what uh, that which is beyond our control. Look, this is perfect and exactly to sum up everything that's been going on in those months here, okay? It speaks of you wanting to control everything. Okay, I get it, all right? It's speaking of acceptance, okay, which is, inner, which is key to inner peace for you, okay? All right, so there's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Alexa, define vanity. Vanity is a term that refers to excessive pride in one's appearance, abilities, or achievements. It is characterized by a preoccupation with one's self-image and a disregard for the needs of others. Okay, so... This does tie into everything that I'm seeing here. All right. Um, I don't, okay. So I don't want to say, huh, all right. You know that I don't sugarcoat things, uh, Pisces. Okay. So, you know, pretending to be, or, you know, mo um, you have the devil's card and the devil's card is basically, uh, pointing out to like, uh, in this situation here is more like a pretending to be, if you're not happy, you're not happy. All right, there's no need to, you know, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, Pisces. You don't have to give answers. To, you don't owe anyone answers. They don't owe answers to you. 
okay? This isn't make-believe. This is real. This is what you're going through. This is your reality. And yes, that's why it's telling you, you know, that you have to be more accepted. There are things that we're unable to change, Pisces. All right? And <laughs> look, this is so you here for um, August because it's pointing out to become a white um, magician. All right? Be impeccable with your words. This is crazy to me because this contradicts everything again in, in here. We're telling you, I mean, this is what's coming up here is something about being acceptance, okay? But yet, this is saying more like, you know, all the magic you possess is based on your word. And you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with the word or you can release someone from a spell. Only you would understand that. Let's find out what's going on for you for September. For September for you, Pisces, there's no need to worry. Okay? There's, uh, there, I mean, this is a forced upon balance. Okay? I see this as an authority figure here. And this is coming in to, to balance everything out. So imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. All right? Even if it was forced upon, okay, because there has been some kind of, there has been like, you know, which, which direction am I going to take? Am I going to go this way? Am I going to go that way? There's changes coming in and those changes are forced upon. There's nothing we can do about that. Okay. And there's a comparison, uh, going on too. All right. So Pisces, uh, manifest your intentions. Okay. Be impeccable with your words, regardless of what language you speak your intent will manifest through in word what you dream what you feel and what you really are will be manifested through the word and it is telling you not to worry balance will come in forcefully but it will come in okay here this is for october for you pisces you have a yes okay you have renewal i love that you have renewal coming in. You're grounded. Manifestation. Blessings. All right. Hey, you're a rebel. You are a rebel. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that you love, that your heart truly desires. All right. So you fight for what's yours. Okay. Okay. Even if it's something that has, you know, ended or something that has fallen apart or I also see you, you know, I mean, I just want to say like, I, I see that, you know, you're visiting a tomb here, uh, letting go of something. Okay. Um, everyone lives in their own dream, Pisces. So, I mean, this also points out to like dreams that you're having as well. All people live in our own dream and their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one that we live in. And what I'm seeing, what I want to see here is just us being different, you know, one of a kind, you know. Um, and I, I also feel like, you know, you're keeping yourself from receiving the blessings, you know, of love or, you know, that you, that you deserve, and your, your heart's true desires, Pisces. You're keeping that from you, maybe holding on to something, you know, that... I mean, I'm not... Everyone... I mean, this is what I'm hearing here. Possibly grieving over someone here that's... That you're having a hard time. I'm not telling you to let go. I'm not telling you how to grieve. I'm just telling you that, you know... I'm sure this person would have want you... To be happy. Okay. Here's what we have for November for you. For 2024. So it's telling you to go. The time is right. Okay. It's telling you that nurture the, the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. It's giving you some advice here. There's growth here. There's projection. There's memories. There's memories. 
You seeing yourself in them, they see you in them. That's where the growth comes in. There's understanding. Pisces, ignore the opinion of others. All right, people are going to talk crap regardless. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion accordingly to their, or according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you is not what about you, but it's about them. Love yourself. Don't take anything personal, personally. What's going on here for you for December? Last one, December here. So let go. Let go of whatever is no longer serving you. Yes, you may have had a perception of things and, you know, expect certain things to go a certain way. But you are the, you know, you're the rock star, Pisces. You are the, the main character to your story, to your life. You know, there's love, there's adventure, there's... uh playfulness you know uh emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also disturb your perception wow look at that you got it here again and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go look at that you got here let go of resentment wow i love that for you everything here is exactly what it what it is Okay, it's telling you to love and nurture your body, Pisces. So, and when I see uh, love and nurture your body, that's basically letting me know of taking care of yourself, taking care of your inner self, your thoughts, your growth, eating healthy. You know, <laughs> I mean, I just heard what you put in your body is, you know, is a is a image of you. You know, if you're putting junk in your in your body, then I mean, what is that? You know, your 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 it's junk in your body. It's not going to help you. You know, it's not going to, it's not going to make you feel better is what I'm saying. What I'm hearing too. Your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, I just heard respect yourself too. self-love, self-worth, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body, uh, li giving love to every part of your body, basically exercising, eating good, physicals, you know what I'm saying? This will plant seeds of love, okay, um, in your mind, as I said, in your mind, because what if you put junk in your body, then that's what you're going to get back, junk, okay? But if you put love, on, you know, in your body and exercise and eat good, you know what I'm saying? This is what's going to be, this is how it's going to, you know, this love, plant love in your mind and when they grow, you, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. I love that for you. I love that for you. Okay. Wow. All right. And that's what I have for you, Pisces, for your 2024 uh, monthly prediction here or, you know, 2024 prediction. Uh, uh, Pisces, I wish you um, blessings, love, and light. Bye-bye now.